Does concentration and meditation are the same thing? Well, the height of concentration becomes meditation. The height. When I say height, it is so one. You become so one pointed. Now, this is true. It's not necessary that you become one pointed by closing your eyes and say, you know, reciting a chanting a mantra or something. Any process that allows you to become one pointed in any field. Suppose you're cooking. You know, I'm telling you truthfully. Suppose you're cooking, you become very one pointed. Mm. Very one pointed. Some people do. In that instant, they become very one pointed in doing some mundane work, daily work. They hit the jackpot. They get a real glimpse of a deeper reality and that gives them a thrill. I'm not exaggerating. They get a real thrill with some minor thing. They, oh, they become one with the great universe. They feel at one with great. And all these kind of minor things, oh, I need to buy these, I need to do the shopping, all they drop off. For a moment, eh? but then it comes back. It's very difficult to achieve it again. But you get a, if you get a free sample of what a spiritual experience is like, you rise above desires.